the comedian, who D on March 11th at his naughty ash home, is believed to have asked mourners to help those most in need. The tickle stick creator asked that anyone wishing to buy flowers instead make a donation to helping the homeless in Merseyside. The Liverpool Echo has stated. Sir Ken's fans lined the funeral route in his home city while his horse drawn hearse came complete with a ditty man inside. Jimmy Tarbuck, Ricky Tomlinson, and Leigh Dennis led the mourners, while the likes of Tom O'Connor, Sammy Lee, Leigh Dennis, Claire Sweeney and Lord Michael Grave were also pictured. The funeral service was open to the public, with a large screen broadcasting the ceremony for those outside. It was set to be followed by a private interment. As flags at Liverpool Town Hall, St George's Hall, Cunard Building, and Central Library were lowered, two of the red, white, and blue sticks were placed on Liverpool Town Hall, as others adorned a statue of the Beatles. The Queen Victoria Monument and the Mersey Ferry. A statue of Sir Ken was also returned to Liverpool Lime Street train station. For the day after it was removed temporarily for building work to be carried out. Speaking prior to his speech at the ceremony, actor Ricky, 78, said he would talk about Sir Ken reminiscing about starting out in showbiz. He said, he was just a one off. Wasn't he? You can't compare anyone with Dottie. He inspired everyone in Liverpool and that's why so many people are here today. They loved him. Comic Roy Chubby Brown, 43, went on, I've been all over the world in my 50 years and I don't know anyone who didn't admire Ken Dodd. Everybody loved Ken and when I used to say. Oh he talks to me on the phone and he's a friend, I was more popular than ever. Jimmy, 78, who was also due to speak. Continued. He was the greatest stage comic I've ever seen. I mean, at the Palladium. He did three seasons there and it was glorious. He never got giggle laughter, never little titters. There were roars of laughter like you've never heard. I've never seen anybody get laughs like him. Lord Mayor of Liverpool. Councillor Malcolm Kennedy, was one of the first to speak out about the public funeral. He added, although Wednesday will be a somber occasion, it is an opportunity for us all to pay tribute to an unforgettable man and I can think of nothing more fitting than huge crowds lining the streets for his final act. There will never be another comedian like Ken. His passing marks the end of an era in British entertainment and I'm sure he'll be tickled that the city will be putting on such a show in his honor. It was reported that the congregation would sing Sir Ken's signature song. Happiness. Sir Ken's wife Anne Jones was seen leaving the couple's home, arm in arm with a male companion. The couple went just two days before he d. Following a six week stay in hospital.